morning everyone welcome back to our channel hope you're all doing okay i thought i'd just have a little chat as i'm just walking arthur out in this lovely morning sunshine i've had a bit of a stressful week this week it has been yeah very stressful stressful with our son he's had a few issues with uni and deposits and getting deposits back and that sort of thing so that's been very stressful and i've also had a filling done which i don't know about you but i hate going to the dentist and when you know you're having a filling it just makes it all that much worse, doesn't it? It's just horrible. The dentist is horrible. But I've had a day off yesterday, so that was nice. And I had a bit of a reset day and I've got lots of jobs done. I've been wanting for ages just to sort my wardrobe out. And I had a good clear out, emptied my wardrobe and I got rid, I think it was about four or five bin bags. So that was just very, very therapeutic. That made me feel great actually. And what I also did was I filled up the brown bin, garden waste, and that was the garden waste from a couple of weeks ago when I did the wall. So that's been sitting there for a couple of weeks and that just needed just putting back in the bin. So cleared that area. I did that. I also cleaned the car out inside because oh, Arthur's just pulling me. He's obviously having a, a sniff down there. You can just see him. Yeah, I cleaned the car out because the sun is well, it's so sunny this weekend. So what I'm hoping to do is take our son, take Lee to the beach. So we're going to go to Perrinporth because we haven't been there for a while. And that's my son's favourite beach. So we're going to head down there. I just wanted the car to be cleaned. When I did clean it, my son did look at me as if to say, you're cleaning the car out before we go to the beach, which, yeah. Probably hindsight probably wasn't the best thing to do, but it's nice to get into a clean car. So I'm glad it's done. I'm glad I did that. So when I get back, I'm hoping to make some elderflower cordial because we have a elderflower bush in our garden and our neighbor has been picking the flowers for us and he's been making the cordial. But I thought, no, I want to have a little go myself. So I've ordered some citric acid and I ordered it about a week ago and it still hasn't arrived. So hopefully that has arrived. And if it has, We'll be able to make some. Are you ready, Arthur? Too busy sniffing. Right, let's go back and see if the postman's been. Right, well, the sun's shining. It's always best to pick elderflower when the sun's shining. I think it's just because the petals open, the sun gets in, and it just gives off a better flavour for the flower. So, hopefully. We're going to have 25 flowers here. Hopefully our neighbour hasn't taken them all, but I think we might just do it. So let's have a little look, see how many we can get.
It's such an easy recipe. Basically, all you have to do is to put all the ingredients into the bowl, give it a good stir, pop a clean tea towel over the top, leave it on the side, and every time you walk past, give it a stir, and it should sit there for about 48 hours. But the first thing you need to do is just to cut the little petals off the flower heads and then you just add all the other ingredients into the bowl. What I will do is I will put the recipe and the ingredients into the description box so you can have a little look in case you want to make it yourself. basic ingredients is about 25 flower heads, sugar, citric acid, lemons, oranges and cooled boiled water. Okay, so that's that. All done. Smells absolutely delicious. And all I've got to do now is just put a clean tea towel over the top and then just let it sit for 48 hours. And every time I walk past, just give it a quick stir. And then all we have to do is just to drain it into some bottles.
We are enjoying ourselves on the beach. Just been in the sea, doing a bit of bodyboarding. It is a beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Um, I've just realised that the lovely hole that uh, my son is digging in the sand, someone else has stolen. Oh, he's just gone to get some chips. <laughs> oh dear, he won't be happy. Um, we're going to have to tell that child to move. <laughs> uh, we no, won't no. from the kids. No, no, no. no, no, um, no, no. But yes, beautiful day. We've been in the uh, in the sea. The waves are there's there's not a huge amount of waves, but the waves are good. Um, but they're um, but enough for us to be boarding and enjoying it. So it's been really nice. And the water is lovely temperature, not cold at all. So it is stunning at the moment. Plane going over. Yeah. yeah. But there's a nice breeze, so Arthur isn't too warm. Because obviously dogs on beaches, warm days. It looks boiling, but it's yeah, it's a lovely breeze for him. Yeah. So. He's happy. It's about 20 degrees, so it is just about right. Yeah. While we were picking the elderflower, I noticed that the hedging that I put in in October is not really doing anything. It has got some new shoots at the bottom there. Look, it's Grisselina. I put it in October, so that is a good, what, nine months ago? And I was told that it grows about a foot a year. But it's not doing anything. I mean, it does need weeding. I did weed this about three weeks ago, but the weeds are just relentless here. So many brambles, so many stinging nettles. It is quite hard just to keep it clear. But I've got a few weeks off soon. So what I might do is have check out Facebook Marketplace, see if I can get some bigger ones. I think I saw some that are about 60 centimeters tall. So hopefully they should be about here. And if I could just fill these gaps that I've got in between, Hopefully, it'll fill this area. Give a little privacy in the garden. Another thing I did finish last week when I had my Dave getting lots done, I finished the second planter. And they're both in. Oh, I can see red strawberries. Oh, lovely. All protected. Look at that. I can see lots of actual new shoots coming off. Lots of runners. Just there. And just there. We're going to have an abundance of strawberries soon. I can't wait. And my rhubarb is just huge. Absolutely huge. So I think a crumble is in order very soon. Right, so I've just got home from work. I'll just have a little look. It smells so good. And I have been stirring it every single time I walk past. and I've got Lee to do the same. Just adds to the flavour, mixing it together. So all I've got to do now is just to drain it and put it into a vase or a jug even. Now for some reason I'm a bit nervous about doing this because you're supposed to use muslin and I haven't got any muslin. So I did Google it just to see what would work best and someone said just use a clean tea towel. So I'm just going to give it a go with the tea towel that was sitting on the top. So wish me luck.
Right, so he's just got home from work. So I'm going to pour us a drink. And we're going to go and sit outside. Now, I like elderflower with sparkling water because it just gives it a bit of fizz. And it's quite nice because lemonade, lemonade's nice with it, but sparkling water's better. Just adds to the flavour more of the elderflower. You can taste it a bit better. So Lee's just going to have water. We'll take him outside. That's yours. <laughs> Are you sure? I thought yes. good. Mine's fizzy. Mine's got bubbles. Have you got fizzy in yours? Yeah, I've got um, sparkling water. Oh, very nice. Right, let's try it. Very oh, nice. it's delicious. It's lovely. It's very refreshing, isn't it? Mm, yeah. You taste the orange as well. It's a lovely summer drink. And I ended up having two and a half bottles. So that will keep us going for the whole summer. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And possibly into winter, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like lovely. that. Well, what I want to say is I want to say a thank you to everybody that has subscribed to our channel because as I was editing this video and over the weekend we hit a thousand subscribers and we are just so happy and excited about that aren't we yeah it's really good news yeah yeah it's just amazing and I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed everyone that makes a comment and everyone that just watches and just enjoys our videos because it's just so special so lovely yeah, we really enjoy making the videos, don't we? So Yeah, yeah. And it just makes it so much better if you know that someone's enjoying watching them. Yeah, with more to come as well. Yeah, more and more and more. We've got so much to do this summer. Hopefully the weather improves, so we'll be out and about more and there's plenty to do on the house. So Always, there's always stuff to do. Yeah, always. As you know, as you know. But thank you again. Cheers. And we're going to have a little chin-chin. Chin-chin. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.